Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So finally we do our Black ISO market update. Now I do understand that Black ISO market is a very touchy subject because it does very much so separate the people in haves and have nots and people who do spend even moderate amounts on the game, people who do not spend anything at all. However, for those of uh, us who have been uh, getting Black ISO store and Summoner Sigil, uh, it definitely has been feeling extremely lackluster recently. Now, don't get me wrong. If you flat out lie all, out all the benefits that you get for £10 a month, then, uh, you know, it's much worth it. You get basically the equivalent or even a bit more units back from it. But then on top of that, due to solo events, you get uh, some energy refills, some shards, you know, not, nothing major there, and, you know, some bits here and there. But Black Ice Farm Market in particular has been feeling quite underwhelming. There are some major changes happening for all types of summoners, but especially for, you know, Thronebreakers, as always. So, uh, for all the summoners, uh, you can now pick up 3 and 4 star hero crystals with your sigil credits. So, instead of adding a new champion, they're just adding 3, 4, 5 and 6 star uh, hero crystals in this uh, sigil store. That, uh, you know, is a neat thing. You can exchange them for a chance for a great champion. And uh, there are improvements across the board. Basically, what they are doing, they're giving more resources um, like they used to for lower costs. Because realistically, there was nothing overly beneficial. But now you're going to be, you know, getting some more uh, tier 4 basic shards trading in your tier 3 class catalyst. Or more tier 2 alpha shards trading in your um, tier 1 alpha catalyst, so on and so forth. Uh, where it does get interesting is... Uh, for uncollected and above, and then for have only and for thronebreaker only. So for uncollected and above, the tier one catalyst offer purchase limit increased to eight, so you can get more tier one alpha catalyst. This is quite interesting. Uh, you can trade in three tier two alpha catalysts for one tier five basic, or you can do it either way around. You can trade in tier five basic for three tier two alpha catalyst, and you can do it once every seven days. And I do think this is a great, great tool to help you balance whichever resource you're kind of short of, because um, you know, I have been short of either. <laughs> there are times when I'm missing tier 5 basics and there are times when I'm missing tier 2 alphas. And this uh, would work great just to keep a very, very balanced roster. So I think that is one of the most amazing changes there, especially because it does not force you into negatives. Like, it does give you exactly the same resource uh, rate whichever way you trade it. Basically, 3 tier 2 alphas, 1 tier 5 basic, 1 tier 5 basic, 3 tier 2 alphas. It's not like you need to trade in 4 tier 2 alphas for 1 tier 5 basic, and then 1 tier 5 basic gives you back 2 tier 2 alphas or something like that. There is no loss in this exchange, and you can trade these guilt-free knowing you're not missing out on resources. So I absolutely love that. A new 6-star hero crystals for 120 sigil credits. Now, I'm not entirely sure uh, whether I will be getting many of these or any. Uh, I'll probably just go ahead and dupe my Scarlet Witch sigil and uh, actually maybe just keep piling sigils on her. I'm not even sure on that. These new sigil potions are quite interesting things as well, where you can trade in 30 level 1 health potions for uh, one sigil potion, 25 level 2 health potions for one sigil potion, then level 3 ones, 3 level 4 ones, 1 level, uh, and 1 level 5 one. And uh, I do like that as well, because it just gives you another new potion that you can keep accumulating that does not have to expire. Now, much like with revives, uh, quite often, at least on my account, I do consistently have potions expiring. And this will not sort out the issue completely. Maybe it will if it has a really high limit if we can keep up i don't know 100 of these sigil potions or something like that but it definitely will alleviate that problem where like every month i can just trade in you know 30 or 25 level one level twos to get this higher value level pot and protect them from expiring so that is it's not a major change let's face it it's like uh you at max you can tr get like uh what five of those potions in one month and realistically most of the time will not want to trade in your level five potions anyways but still, it's going to be like an extra tool to further extend your item cap and not have those things expire. And I think that is extremely important thing when we are discussing these changes on this uh, Black ISO market as well. Because you do want the things to be beneficial and neat and nice, but you do not want them to be overpowered 
to a point where you completely kind of like underwhelm the group of players who do not have sigil right and uh, i think these type of changes are quite decent to you know give a benefit for having a sigil but not giving something you know game breaking not giving you i don't know 26 dots every you know month and stuff like that for six stars where that would create real game economy problems and these type of exchange ac access to exchange to balance your roster better trading in you're not bet you know you know you're not getting flat out tier 5 basics and tier 3 alpha tier 2 alphas there but you are getting help in balancing those resources that's good you are not getting here you know a ton of extra healing power by trading in these potions uh but you are getting again a bigger roster that kind of extent bigger item stash that extends further so tier 4 basic catalyst fragments offer purchase increased more for camps tier 2 alpha catalyst fragments offer increased to 7200 for one tier one alpha catalyst again it's nice that it is increased, but it's not like absolutely game changing. There, seven thousand tier two alpha fragments is not like that big of a deal. And nine thousand tier five basic at least fragments for one tier four basic. Again, it's it, it's nice, but I do not think it's game changing to do this. You know, once a week, so a month you basically get like what thirty six thousand francs as a cow player. It's not the biggest thing. New one tier two, two percent tier five class catalyst fragment crystal for one tier four class catalyst. I would probably ignore this one. Honestly, I'd probably just ignore this one. I don't think it's worth it. 250 six star hero crystal shards for 1,000 five star hero crystal shards. That's, you know, neat. Cavalier and above. Tier 1 alpha catalyst offer purchase cost reduced to 1. Uh, tier 3 basic catalyst. That's nice. You can trade in your tier 3 basics for tier 1 alphas. And here are the bigger changes for the throne breaker. So tier 4 basic catalyst fragment offer purchase increased to 5 every 7 days. Nice. Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst Fragment Offer increased to 9,000 for one Tier 1 Alpha. You know, again, slightly better than Cavs did. New 13,500 Tier 5 Basic Catalyst for Tier 4 Basic Catalyst Fragment. I will probably be getting those, you know, because you can get one Tier 4 Basic in a Glory Store and then just exchange it for 13,500 Tier 5 Basic Shards. And uh, again, it's nice, it's good, but you can do it once a week only. So it basically equates to like one extra Catalyst a month. New 2 2% tier 5 class catalyst fragment crystal for one tier 4 class catalyst crystal. Again, I'm not entirely sure I'd want to do that. <laughs> I'm generally not entirely sure I'd want to do that. I, th I, I think I'd just prefer to keep my tier 4 class catalyst crystal there because those are a bit short these days. 6 star shard offer change to 300 shards for 1000 5 star hero crystal shards. Purchase limit times 5 every 7 days. This works out the same shard amount but with lower cost. Nice, you know. Uh, more cost-effective five-star conversion to six-star shards. New one percent tier five class catalyst fragment selected for two tier five class catalyst fragment crystals. Okay, because of this one, maybe I'm not too sure, but maybe it would be worth. New champion boost for ten thousand gold. Again, it really depends which champion boost it is. If it's like a ten percent champion boost, I'm not interested. Those are expiring anyways. But if it's higher one, then I will like that a lot. Alliance war champion boost for ten thousand gold. Again. Depends which one it is. We would need more details, whether it is the lower one or the good one. I think it's the medium ones, in which case, it's all right. It's not too bad. But uh, those are the changes. And again, uh, I do understand that this is a touchy subject. And I, in this case, I do kind of feel that Kabam have understood the point of making Sigil better, but not making it, you know, hugely impactful because obviously we need to recognize the fact that there are a lot of people who do not have this will never have or just can't have there are a lot of you know kids playing a lot of people with tighter monetary situations and a lot of people who don't spend on principle and that is to be respected but you know so is the money that is funding this game and uh, when it comes to black iso market i think these changes effectively at large unless i'm missing something here is exactly the type of changes that uh this uh Summoner Sigil needed and the Black Isos don't need it because they are ease of life, convenience of life. You do not get an extra crap ton of tier 5 basic atlas, like when you trade in your tier 2 alphas for tier 5 basic or vice versa. You just get an ability to balance your account and you do not need to follow as strictly how many tier 3 alphas you, tier 2 alphas you have to tier 5 basics. And, uh, you know, again, the similar thing with potions. You get to convert the potions that 
would be expiring probably otherwise in some accounts to potions that you know maybe let you heal slightly more but that's not the point the big point is the fact that you effectively just further increase your inventory and ability to retain and stash and you know grow your stash um uh, so yeah um uh, these are the changes to summoner sigil and uh let me know what you guys think about them i i do personally think that as far as i saw it i'm not necessarily going to comment on each individual exchange as i said there are some that i'll probably be skipping like the tier 4 class catalyst crystals you know those are quite uh quite 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 in demand right now i don't want to be trading them in but there will be things that i will definitely be benefiting from um so we're not necessarily going to discuss each individual trade but as a whole the feel to these changes to me at the very least definitely does feel in the correct direction in you know offering kind of ease of life slight benefits slight kind of quality of life things that you know ideally obviously you know they they, they could be offering for free but it's kebab they won't um so here we are maybe maybe i get buried in comment section for saying things that i'm saying and uh you guys are gonna be super mad at me or or maybe you agree with me so let me know let me know what you think about changes to the Black ISO store, but I will catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the 